Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Sugar Moon. How are you guys all doing? Okay, so um, if you guys haven't seen my previous video, please go ahead and watch that. I explain a little bit of why I changed my name from Chai Chu into Sugar Moon if you guys are confused. Okay, I'm just making a lot of like different changes within my life and it just so happened that this whole channel is getting a whole revamping. Okay, so just be prepared for that, alright? I just want to prepare for people because I like to just change at the drop of the hat. <laughs> Okay, so, and then also the previous video is a channeled reading for the astrology and energy update that's been going on, a little bit update about my life, etc. And just overall, there were some beautiful messages that came out, especially for the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine energy um, within us, okay? So, this is a general Twin Flame reading for the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. Okay, mind you, it is a general reading, so take what resonates and throw the rest. Um, try not to make anything fit. Um, it can apply it to both genders, both male and female. Okay, energy is fluid. When I call out signs, it doesn't mean it has to be within your chart. However, it's the energy that I'm pulling within the card for the person you're watching or for you. So take what resonates, okay? Also, if you hear this crow that's going off right now, this crow joined us in the previous reading. Um, like I said, I like to connect with animal totems. I, I like to... I. I talk to animals quite a bit, and I feel like I can understand them when I tap into... It's a gift within itself, okay? But spirit likes to show itself through a lot of animal totem synchronicities. Okay, so I'm going to tap into the overall energy, see what's going on. I did mention that I was getting a lot of like, okay, so as far as like what I've been seeing clairvoyantly in my eye for tarot, I've been seeing a lot of cup energy. So I'll been seeing like 10 of cups. I've been also seeing the king of cups, queen of cups. So a lot of people are tapping into like their heart chakra. The heart chakra is being forcefully blown open for both the divine mass and divine feminine because mind you guys are both connected, especially within the heart chakra. That is exactly where you guys are connected with. Um, so heavy heart chakra um, activations as well as uh, three of swords energy that I'm feeling and also the ten of swords. I'm also receiving a lot of nine of swords and seven of swords energy So be careful for not self-sabotaging especially with the divine feminine I feel like divine feminine is really trapped and caught within her mind and fighting her her mental state right now, um, but when it comes to When it comes to the divine masculine right now, he is fighting what's in his heart so you guys are mirroring each other, kind of like that 1221 energy, that 1001 energy, if you guys have been seeing that. You guys are mirroring one another, um, but in different aspects. So it's important to really balance out that mind, body, and soul that, you know, to come into one. And recognizing that you always are one. You are always been one. Also, I've been receiving a lot of, like, um, it's like a lot of, like, heavy, like, energy, like, strength right now. Like, fighting your ego. Also, the devil card, like, um, which is Capricorn energy. Mind you, the moon is in Capricorn currently at this current point in time that I'm doing this reading. Time is illusion. Okay, so keep that in mind. These connections only go by divine timing. They do not go by ego timing. Oh my gosh, look, swords energy, five of swords. So someone is fighting their mind and going through clouded judgment. I feel like this is more the divine feminine energy right now. Also, I'm seeing that this was possibly in the past, like, you know, of any self-deception. Okay. Oh my gosh, at the bottom of the deck, we have the knight of swords. Yes. It's the anxiety and the insomnia and the sleepless nights. It's the worrying. It's the staying up at night. Like people are worrying about their finances. They're worrying about how they're going to put food on the table, how we're... They're pretty much worried about what's going to happen next. And remember when I say within my previous video, if you are worrying too much about the future, it's going to bring anxiety. But if you are worried too much about the past, it's definitely going to bring that depression and that pain and hurt right back up. Because mind you, I always say pain knows no time. Healing has no time limit either, okay? So <clears throat> if you're having a hard time sleeping at night and you're having insomnia, Look into magnesium, like probably up in your magnesium intake, okay? You can get natural magnesium from like spinach or any type of leafy greens and stuff like that, nuts and fruits and all that. But um, you can also take supplements as far as like magnesium-wise. Another great thing for insomnia, if you guys like to work with crystals, is the amethyst. So um, sleeping with this underneath your pillow will help promote, uh, get rid of these this nightmares, these overthinking, and also the night terrors that you're experiencing within the ascension process. Okay, so can I tap into the Divine Masculine energy? What is going on with you? Divine Masculine, what is going on with you? Oh, see? Look. 
Five of Wands. So you guys are kind of like marrying each other. It's that 5-5 five, five energy. Remember? 5-5-5. Five, five, five. If you've been seeing that, it means conflict that comes with change. Chaos that comes with change. Okay? So possibly fighting also within the physical realm as well that I'm seeing. So I'm seeing the Divine Masculine is possibly fighting with karmics, not getting along with either people, places, and things. And things are not resonating. Things are just not fitting right now. So he's going through that inner conflict as well. So I feel like you guys are mirroring each other um, in that aspect. So... But without this, this without this happening, it's a good sign, you know. A lot of people like to fear negativity or just, you know, chaos. But the thing is, is that, like I said, with chaos, sometimes that comes change, all right? Um, so Divine Feminine, what's going on with you? Divine Feminine, this crimson time, what is going on? And this kind of reflects that fiery energy, the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy that I'm getting. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So we just had the Libra full moon as well, as well as Venus moving into Gemini. So a lot of air in your thoughts, thinking too much, overthinking. Um, also possibly being defensive, confrontational maybe because of the anger and the, um, the fiery energy that you're feeling from the air. Okay, good. Thank you. Oh, wow. So for the Divine Feminine, the hair font came out. So this is about, this is getting, I'm getting the ring vibes as well from this card. But this is making a commitment, okay? This is also the Divine Masculine 5D self coming into play right now. This is also contracts, okay? So I feel like right now she's dealing with waking up, or accessing contracts right now. Opening contracts. Opening to secret hidden knowledge deep down within, okay? So it's kind of like the rising of the masculine um, within her or him. Okay, and also for the fact that, again, I'm getting like the, I feel like there's like a spiritual warfare going on, like right, this is for me, this is also my religion and spiritual card, so I feel like right now she's just more so either learning about religion or learning more about spirituality and kind of getting more in touch with that, like more of her abilities and gifts that are like in like in in her inner world you know what I mean so also making a commitment to herself or making a commitment to something like possibly a new lifestyle change or possibly getting like you know her health right or his or her health right someone that is making commitments to themselves as far as like finance wise or career change or any of that matter so they're going through a spiritual awakening is what I'm seeing and at the bottom of the deck we have the death card which is true this is the Scorpio energy that I've been feeling which is the end is the beginning the beginning the end that type of thing so like I said a spiritual transformation so I feel like right now since you guys are marrying one another <laughs> like it's like that thing of like when one's on one's off when one's off one's on you know that type of thing <laughs> like a light switch uh, so, um, that's funny. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this down. I'm going to clarify with the Gilder Reverie Lenormand. Okay. Wow, I split the deck and there's the lilies. <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of lilies, which is the representation of Scorpio, which is the representation of death. Okay. Also, if you can see the numbers 43 or 34, that could also be very significant as well. I did mention that is also my birth date. Mm. Also, 121 is coming into mind as well. As, uh, <laughs> they said 420. <laughs> so, April 20th. There's something going on April 20th. So, I know that that's a cause for celebration for a lot of uh, stoners out there. Okay. <laughs> So, okay, I'm asking Spirit, what is going on with this journey, oh, journey going on? Oh, so at the bottom of the deck again with the Lily card. Oh, and the Rosa. Oh my gosh, guys. And this is 29, which reduces to a 11, and then 3, which is a fertile energy type thing, so giving birth. So right now I'm seeing that this is the divine feminine energy right now, and also I'm seeing this book. Remember what I stated about previously about the book of knowledge, like a book of hidden secrets, that type of thing? So possibly hidden feelings. Mm. 
So I'm seeing that this person has a lot of love right here. I'm seeing, and then also death energy. Could also be dealing with a Scorpio. Could, and if this, if, if, you know, if the Divine Masculine or Divine Feminine are dealing with karmic connections, since that's coming in as well, which I'm not getting, I'm not getting that, but if it is, if this is tying to the, the karmic energy with the Five of Wands and this person that they're dealing with, then that means that this uh, death energy, there's going to be a death or a put an end to that, you know. Okay, so, but I'm saying this is more the Divine Feminine energy coming through, especially with the Eleven and the Rose, Okay. Oh, wow. And number 12. Remember when I said hidden knowledge? <gasps> this is like high priestess type energy. So this kind of ties into the Hierophant. Remember when I said she's tapping into hidden knowledge, hidden secrets? And I did mention within my previous video, I'm seeing the keys right here. <clears throat> Having the missing key or something like that. So she's tapping really into like, and then the 12, which is like that 12, 21, 12, 12 energy that I was referring to. Seven can also be a significant number as well. But it's like her intuition is popping. He or she, their intuition is popping right now. They're trying to uncover hidden things or wanting to express hidden things, like hidden emotions, hidden feelings, or just uncovering the truth of the matter, if that makes sense. So I don't know why, but they're playing like Sherlock Holmes, like detective type, type of thing. Okay, so also if you're seeing white owls or any type of bird, that is also an indicator of the divine feminine energy. So again, the white owls are like the divine feminine energy. I did mention within this previous, in previous videos. So divine masculine energy, what is going on with you? Can I get cards and clarification from you? Preferably two. Oh, oh my gosh, guys. This really wants to come out. The lilies. Uh, number 30. I did mention I've been seeing a lot of Lily cards, so it's a death. So right now they're going through an ego death. They're going through a process of putting the ending to karmic situations, people, places, and things right now. Going through a resurrection, going through a rebirth period, a transformation period. Also, if you've been seeing butterflies, that could be a representation of the rebirth process that's going on right now. Also, 30 um, can tie into like uh, the Ascended Masters, which is a 3, which is connecting to... like. Um, higher dimensional beings connecting to ancestors are possibly a mother figure, possibly like a grandmother or a passed on grandmother, passed on mother figure, um, sister figure on the other side that is helping and kind of pro kind of coming in and helping with this process and this journey, okay? Because they're not doing it alone. Spirit will never make you do something alone. They're always with you. It's just sometimes we can't, you just, we're too much in our ego to notice if that makes sense all right divine masculine what's going on I want another card from you please and thank you what's going on with you Ooh, 40 the mask so look at that that is so cool so he's and i'm seeing the sequence with the 30 and 43 4 and then four is also representation of the divine masculine energy Okay, it's like an emperor energy. Also, this is removing of the mask. So divine masculines are learning to be more authentic, to embracing their truth, removing the mask. They're going through that ego death right now. Okay, and also I'm seeing like the, the sun and the moon. So they're learning to be more connected with their divine masculine, divine feminine aspects within themselves, realizing that they are the star. And I'm also seeing the crown chakra. So they're getting a lot of crown chakra activations going on um, right now as far as awakening wise. Okay. Also, the need to walk through a portal. And it's the understanding. I'm also, they're saying the sun, moon, rising. So connecting with your sun, moon, rising signs, like realizing that that's a part of you and that's what makes you you. And that it's not called two-faced. You know, I don't believe in anything called, I don't believe in the two-faced, three-faced type of shit that humans come up with. I believe that we have many facets and many layers of us as humans and that it's impossible to have just one face. So the fact that you're coming to terms that there's many different phases and layers of us to be uncovered and unraveled and, you know, it's exciting and sometimes a little scary, you know, especially when you don't understand completely what you're doing, <laughs> but none of us do. We're just going with the flow, okay? I don't know. Okay, I'm going to stop that there. Okay.
this. So I'm gonna tap into the Spirit Animal Oracle deck. I love Animal Oracle deck. This is like my favorite deck. Oh my gosh. So, oh, I split the deck. Oh my gosh. And there's the spider. Remember the webs that I was referring to? coyote wanted to come out. I did mention the coyote within the, the gift horse, the, the, sorry, from the, from the previous, why can't I talk? Oh my gosh, I'm just so excited, but from the previous video, I talked about a book that I've been, that I got from my grandmother as a child, and it kind of mentioned the coyote spirit, and the coyote is representation of the divine masculine energy within us, okay, so trust in divine detour, so 16 could be significant, or in reducing to a 7, so 7 is also a significant number as well. And it's also divine masculine energy, like like the wolf. <clears throat> Very beautiful card. So it's all about trusting in the process, trusting in the fact that the detours and the paths that spirit is trying to lead us to is going to be the right path for us, okay? Spirit's not going to lead you into a direction that's all fucked up, okay? That is out of fear. If you're, that's working from a fear-based mentality, if you feel like, you know, things are not going to work out in your favor and that things are going to just end off horrible like that is when you know that your ego is you know being threatened and coming out and trying to interfere um but coyote is kind of like it's like that loyalty dog energy that canine energy does that make sense so i feel like the divine masculines are connecting with that as far as that goes so another for the journey for the journey Ooh, grasshopper spirit. So this is this is beautiful. Um, take a leap of faith. So is that full energy? And then number thirty, I'm seeing like the synchronous. Oh gosh, we got thirty thirty right here. So it's like that three three energy. Okay, trusting in the process. I'm also seeing the five 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 right here going on too. But the grasshopper spirit. Um, just know that when you make a move and you take that first step forward and you take that leap of faith off that cliff when you decide to take that jump and that leap of faith, then that is when spirit will meet you and catch you at the bottom and able to possibly, it's probably not going to end up in the way that you expect it to be. And usually that's how life works, is that life works in unexpected ways and we don't always know what's going to happen, okay? We're not fortune tellers. So, oh, you know, things can change at any moment. Okay, wow, <laughs> three cards popped out. I think I'm going to stop there because we don't need any more after that. But the cat spirit, oh my gosh, I did mention I was seeing a lot of black cats lately and just connecting with cats. So this is a divine feminine energy coming out and this is a divine masculine energy coming out. Look at that. You guys are together. So I'm seeing the feline coming out right here. Claim your independence. So right now divine feminines are learning to tap into their divine masculine energy within them and also learning to be more independent like the cat spirit, being able to um, hold your own, being able to uh, release codependency, any codependencies that uh, divine feminines that are coming up for them to purge and release, that is coming up as well. Um, and also the one that came out is the antelope spirit. Life is speeding up. Oh, yes. Um, so this is like two, this is like all about that Knight of Wands energy, kind of like, <laughs> I feel like, especially if you're connecting with deers, any type of like four-legged creature as far as like deers, antelopes, um, those type of things, anything with horns, that's also connecting, and also stags as well, um, connecting with the Divine Masculine energy, so I feel like they're being pushed to to move, I feel like there's going to be movement coming soon, especially with the Take a Leap of Faith as well, and I'm seeing the crown, <laughs> see, we're receiving crown chakra activations as well, like coming to realization, awakening, 
like the sun energy clarity. And then the canary spirit. I love this because I did channel of canaries. Like I did mention within previous videos that divine masculine seeing the divine feminine as the canary or the, the nightingale that is in a cage in a way. It's kind of like that rose in a cage type thing. But also the fact that sing your own song, so sing to your own tune, vibe to your own beat, you know, make your own music, that type of thing. 12, which is like that 12, 12 energy. I also love the sequence of 12 and 13 moving up. Um, and then also the match. Oh, I love this, guys. You see how the divine, this, oh my gosh. You know how this ties into the divine feminine energy with the crown. You guys are receiving crown. This is 12, 12. Then right here we have the, for the Divine Masculine Energy, we have the 30-30. Okay, so he's putting an end, going through endings in order to take that leap of faith to make a new beginning. Okay, and whereas you, you're over here uncovering truths, going deep within, going through introspection, uh, learning to sing your own song, Divine Feminine. And also you could be connecting with one another through music or any type of clear audience abilities. Okay, so I see that going on right now. So music, pay attention to music or any type of signs or lyrics that are within music because that's how you guys are able to communicate. Okay, so that's beautiful. Awesome. Cool. That's so cool that the canine and the feline energy came out and then as well as the... Oh my gosh, and then with the, the gift horse book, I did mention the four-legged creatures. Um, that book mentioned the four-legged creatures. It mentioned of bird spirits and it also mentioned of... Um, the coyote and the insects. Mmm. Nice. Okay, so. I'm going to end this off with a Whispers of Love Oracle. Okay. I hope you guys are all having a beautiful day and night wherever you guys be or are at. I just hope that you guys are staying safe in general. Okay, and making sure to look after yourselves. Making sure to focus on self-care and not being so hard on yourself. Because I really need to hear that as well for me. Because this past week was just really rough. It was literally like that death energy that I was feeling. It's all this 555 energy that's going on right now. But it's needed and it's necessary in order to create movement forward, okay? Which is why that grasshopper and antelope spirit thing is coming through. Because it's creating forward movement. Actually, I'm going to shuffle it just a little bit different. It's been a while since I shuffled this deck, actually. So that's funny. Okay, how about this? Venus. So, the appreciate this moment. Every situation is an opportunity to grow and find love. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Oh, and then we have the number 33. Remember when I mentioned, if you've seen 333, it's Ascended Masters who are within your space that are like surrounding you. So a lot of, especially Divine Feminine um, Ascended Masters are surrounding the Divine Feminines. And then of course the Divine Masculine is, Ascended Masters are um, surrounding Divine Masculine. Okay, so I'm saying that this is also Atlantis vibes right here. And also to, it's like that smell the roses type of moment. Okay. Be in the moment. Be present. You know, the the fact that this hard times that are going on right now, the scorpion-like energy, like I said, is an opportunity to grow. Okay? And also, this will help promote, like, you know, moving in the direction of choosing love rather than fear. So beautiful. So if you've been seeing 333, that's very significant as well. As well as, like, very fertile energy. Okay. Number... 24 focus on love <laughs> look for the good in everyone oh my gosh and look at the dragons so i did mention of connecting with dragon spirits um higher dimensional beings you know also dragons if you're connected with dragons i'm seeing that that is like uh, ultimate protection okay um as well as i'm seeing the difference between like the fire and mother earth so i'm getting mother gaia type of thing so 
that's what I'm feeling. Like, Mother Gaia, like, that Mother Yemoja, like, the Tree of Life healing process is coming in. The more you focus on love, the more love that you will attract and bring into your life, okay? So, and that you're protected, like, very protected, okay? Both of you guys. Last one for the journey, and then I'll end this off here. Oh, wow. That's so beautiful. Number 49. Actions speak loudly. Express your love through actions. And look, it's like that hawk um, eagle spirit flying high above the clouds, above the storm, seen from a higher perspective, okay? Also, this reduces to 13, which is like, you know, that Scorpio-like energy. Wow. Okay. That's really nice. Ah. <laughs> uh. Yep, seeing above the storm, different perspective. And also with the action speak loudly, this kind of reminds me of the um, take a leap of faith, like the action base, right? And also life is speeding up. Mm -hmm. So spirit's calling for, uh, in order to receive love, you must show love, you must give love, especially for the divine masculines, that goes for them. Okay, and be in divine feminine being open to receiving that love. Okay, and at the bottom of the deck, I'm ending this off here. Oh my gosh, romance. Lavish the one you love with personal attention and, aff and affection. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. So I see the divine masculine, divine feminine. You guys are dancing, and this is the number 25, which reduces to the number 7. Again, 7 is very significant right now, especially if you've seen 717. That's a representation of the physical union between the divine masculine and divine feminine. Physical union between the divine masculine divine feminine if not you guys are meeting on the 5d and this is in the 5d dream state realm and you guys are dancing connecting with music i see that as well so you guys possibly could be really connected with dancing i don't know if you guys liked dancing or something like that and but okay so i'm ending this off here and closing this reading i'm sending you guys off on your way much love to you stay safe and see you guys in my next video peace